We are about to head to the GE Theater at Proctor's in Schenectady, New York to speak with the Black Theater Troupe of Upstate New York and learn more about their upcoming production of Flyin' West. Let's go. Flying West is about four black women, three of them are sisters, in Kansas in the late 1800s. They had to fight to own a piece of land. And they have to deal with racism, they have to deal with not only men can own things, but it's a very fun play to educate people. What happened to us? What happened to women who fought for the right? Okay, and, and those are problems who are still happening today about women's rights. The importance of the Black Theater Troupe is to make sure that we are giving our community our narrative, not from someone else, not from another ethnic group. We're the only ones who can tell our story and make it be real, something from the inside out. So what the Black Theater Troupe does is provide that venue, provide that place. So it's important for the Albany area, the Capital District area, to make sure that we know that the Black Theater Troupe is here. We've been here for a while. I started the theater company back in 2009. It was under the name of Soul Rebel Performance Troupe. There was too many questions. What, you know, people were asking, what is Soul Rebel? People didn't know exactly what we do. So I decided to change it into the Black Theater Troupe. I wanted to promote more diversity, bring more people of color, specifically black actors in the area. I've been acting all my life, in, you know, since I was like eight, nine years old performing. I'm originally from Haiti, performing in French and Creole and a little Spanish. I live in New York City from 82 to 97, and then I move up here in the capital region. I was having fun. I was getting a lot of parts. You know what? Because I was one of four black people, actors in the area. But then I need to stop being selfish and do something because we have to do better than that. I wanted to do something different, you know, do stories about our culture, about uh, racism, about uh, and, and our struggle, you know. And uh, so that's the kind of stories we do, stories that have meanings, stories that, you know, to educate people. All right, guys, let's get ready. I am honored and proud to be a part of this cast. My character, her name is Miss Leah. Miss Leah is like the, how do you say, the foundry of the, these women. She's been, she's come from slavery. She's 73. Um, she's been through it all. She takes no mess. She's full of love, wisdom, and joy, and she just brings these women together and tells the story of all these black homesteader women back in the 1800s in Nicodemus, Kansas. I'll try not to let the smoke from my chimney drift over your sky. Each rehearsal, I learn more about Miss Leah. She kind of reminds me of my grandmother in a way, or an auntie, or even my mom, and even myself in some ways, because she's all about the struggle. And she knows what they're doing and why they're doing it is real. This is a story that we're not taught. I was never taught in school, you know, not even in college. But I've learned over the years that even though this is in the late 1800s, this is so relevant for 2022 right now, especially in the times that we're living, you know, in civil unrest and health and just so many disparities going on right now in America. Come on out, see this play, learn this story. We need to do those stories, those plays, so, so we can play some major role. Not just the sidekick, not just the maid, not just the slave, not just the, uh, the assistant, what we need to be. We need to have leaders and you know, artistic directors and, you know, of color to be in the, in the area. We don't have enough of that. Read about what took place during that time period with Flying West read about what happened with the women and how they had to endure. It's happening again. We can see that now. But if you read and do some research on what's going on in the past and what's going on now, and then after you do that, please try and make sure 
that whatever it is that has connected to you in the story, that you make sure that you do something about it to make it better. Because that's what art is. It's supposed to make us better. Each character is exciting, inviting. This play is educational. It will have you saying, oh my, well, I mean, you're gonna love some, you're gonna hate some, you're gonna cry at some, and you're gonna laugh at everyone. You're gonna feel the joy that we do. So without telling too much, just know that you are in for a flying adventure out west with us. We're gonna take you on this journey, and it's gonna be a cool time, for real. You can see Flying West Thursday, August 25th through Sunday, August 28th. Visit BlackFeedyTroopUpstateNewYork.org.